I have a hundred pounds of tomatoes I gotta get through today. I'm not gonna put you guys through that though. It's the end of August. All of your tomatoes are starting to ripen up. Your basil, it's ready to go. What are you gonna do? Stewed tomatoes. Now, this is a pretty simple recipe. Just a few ingredients. We're gonna cook it up outside. We're gonna do a small eight pound batch just to kind of go over things really quickly. So let's get started. Going to start off just by weighing out eight pounds of tomatoes. Using Roma tomatoes today, because that's what's ready. You can really use any kind of tomatoes to make your stewed tomatoes. You don't have to be too picky about it. There's no big law, there are no rules. Just use what you have, use what you like. Removing the skins is pretty simple. I'm just gonna drop the tomatoes into boiling water for a couple minutes. Might not even be a couple minutes. You start to see the skins crack. That's when you know it's about time to take them out. And once you have those heated up enough, just transfer them to a different bucket to cool off in. You're going to have to handle these, so you don't want them to be too hot. You could dunk them in some cold water or something like that. Depending on how many we're doing, we do that sometimes. While you're waiting for your tomatoes to cool over there, you might as well get your jars sterilizing. Uh, you'll note right now that I am using a pressure canner. However, I will be water bathing the canned tomatoes. I'm only using the pressure canner because it's a nice large pot that we have. This is not a pressure canning recipe. Skinning your tomatoes is pretty simple. They've already basically peeled away. So you just pull it off. Now, with this stem part, you can either take it out or leave it in. Either way. Save your skins. These are perfect for making pizza sauce and tomato paste, which I'll show you later. So just carry on with your tomatoes, skinning them, taking out that stem piece if you want. It's not overly necessary. I'm sure you've probably purchased stewed and diced tomatoes before that had that little stem piece in them. If you really want to, you can also remove the seeds. For our stewed tomatoes, we don't. We just leave everything in there. So that's what you're left with. Again, make sure you save all of your skins. Freeze them for a while to save up enough of them to make some very amazing tomato paste. Now let's get to the magical part. We are going to add in some vinegar, some pickling salt, kosher salt, whatever you want to call it, minced garlic, and peppercorns. I always recommend with any canning to avoid using any reactive uh, items, utensils, pots. We use this black enamel turkey roasting pot, plastic uh, ladle to get the tomatoes into the jars, wooden spoons for stirring, things like that. It just, it can impart a metallic taste into your finished product, which obviously is something that you don't want. So try and avoid using things like stainless steel, aluminum, any of that sort of thing. If you can, stick with coated pots, enamel coated pots. Two tablespoons of salt. One tablespoon of peppercorn. 
two tablespoons of vinegar, nine diced cloves of garlic. And we're going to bring this up just to a gentle simmer. And we don't want to smash these up too much. We want to keep them as whole as possible. We just want to heat the whole batch up, let everything in here mingle together and get nicely mixed together. We want to stir occasionally just to prevent them from sticking to the bottom. It won't take long because they're already warm from being boiled to remove the skin. So it won't take long to get this up to a temperature that is sufficient. This has been simmering for about 10 minutes and it's looking good and it's smelling great. So we're gonna cut it off here. So I have removed the stewed tomatoes from the heat. I've also removed the jars from sterilizing in the, in the big pot of water, the pressure canner. Although this is not a pressure canning recipe, it's water bathing. I have our lemon juice ready to go. Ladle, plastic, not metal. Snap lids and uh, rims for the jars, fresh basil, which makes it just that much tastier, and the grabber, the canner grabber things. These probably have an actual name like canning tongs or something like that, and a canning funnel. We will start with two tablespoons of lemon juice per jar. Some people say they can really taste the lemon juice in the finished product. Personally, I can't. It just ensures proper acidity and shelf stability. Make sure to use lemon juice out of the bottle, not just from juicing lemons. You want to make sure that you have the proper acidity in your jars. We'll toss a couple fresh basil leaves in the bottom of each jar, straight out of the garden rinsed off of course. You don't have to add basil. We just really like the flavor of the basil in there. So that's why we add it. Now we'll start putting the tomatoes in. I like to start just with the tomatoes and leave the juice for afterwards. You want to try and pack these jars really as tight as you can. It's good to leave anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch head space. That one's overfilled by a little bit, but that's okay. Because you can just scoop it out, transfer it over. And don't worry folks, I will clean off the top rim of the jars in order to get that proper seal. This jar a little bit underfilled, you can see. So, this is where I'm going to put this extra juice. It'll just be an extra juicy jar. I have a little bit left over that I can cook with tonight. I'm just going to clean the tops jars off. Make sure we have nothing in the way of creating a proper seal. Put our snap lids on. Very important to use new snap lids. Always. There's no point in jeopardizing your food. 
chances are you'll be okay if you reuse snap lids, but that chance always exists. Just put the ring on, finger tight. The rings you can definitely reuse for years and years and years. Once they're sealed, you don't even have to leave the rings on there. And into the water bath pot they go. Once the water comes back up to a rolling boil, we'll set our timer for 45 minutes. That's 45 minutes. Time to take the bottles out of the canner. And we'll just let these sit and let them seal themselves up. Don't move them around. Don't attempt to take the water off of the top. It'll just evaporate. Don't worry about it. We want to hear the sealing lids snap. So there you go. Uh, eight pounds of tomatoes comes out to roughly three quarts. There was a little bit of juice left over. Um, I still have another 92 pounds to get through though. So I'm going to get going with that. Hopefully this video was useful for you guys. I don't know. There's plenty of stewed tomato recipes out there. If you don't like this one, move on to another one.